This is Twit. Fred, Fort Worth. Hello, Fred. Hello, Leo. Um, Long-time listener, first-time caller. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I have a question in regards to Windows 10 and um, email and files. Okay. I am, I'm going to send uh, an email to a friend, and um, it, it contains personal information that I do not want anyone else to see but my friend. And I was wondering what's the easiest way I can I- encrypt this file. And um, first of all, and that way, when I send it as an attachment, right? When he opens it, he can he can put in the password, and he would be only be the only one to know the password. Yeah, that would be easy to do, and you could zip it, for instance. And zip has passwords. You're right to worry because email is like sending a postcard. Anything that you put in an email, including any attachment to the email, can be read along the way, and it usually goes through multiple servers along the way. So, email by itself is not secure. We're seeing that change over time. For instance, if your friend had Gmail and you had Gmail, uh, it would be secure the entire way. It would be encrypted and it would be fairly safe. But for most of the time, when you send email from one host to another, it's not safe. But you've heard me say many times, do not send email attachments. There's so many reasons not to do this. First and primary, first and foremost, that email attachments often are contain viruses and are dangerous. Now, your friend is expecting this from you, I presume, and so he'll know and he'll say, oh, yeah, I was expecting this and it's not, you know, it's safe. But often the virus payloads, and this includes ransomware, and this is, by the way, almost always, almost always how people get infected and almost always how businesses get ransomware. And, and this was a big problem, remember, last year, is through an attached file that comes from someone you know that comes from the boss. And that's because it's really easy to spoof email addresses. And uh, so it's a, it's a trivial thing for, for people to, to send an email from somebody you know, or the, it, and now this time of year we're going to see a lot of fake IRS emails. And if you see an email with an attachment, my friends, do not open it. And it's not just you I'm protecting, it's your family, it's your network, it's your business, and ultimately it's the internet as a whole. Security flaws, problems like this, exploits, viruses, malware affect all of us. And if you get infected, the chances are that virus is going to then take your address book and send it to every one of your friends and they'll get infected and so on and so on and so on. Do not send and use and receive and accept email attachments. Stop. Fortunately, mo many email clients these days will refuse to do it. A lot of them won't accept them. That's There's a good reason for that. And actually, this goes nicely with your need to have it secure. Instead of sending an attachment via email, put that attachment on one of the free upload services, Microsoft's OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox. There's a million of them. All of them offer you know, a gig or two uh, or more. I think there's five gigabytes free at Google Drive, free. You can encrypt your file if you want to be extra safe. Almost all of these are encrypted anyway in place. But if you if you don't want anybody who works at the company to see it, because because that's, by the way, something that does, it could happen. I don't think it's ever happened. But in theory, somebody who worked at Google could look at Google Drive. Somebody who works at Dropbox can look at Dropbox. Somebody who works at Apple could look at iCloud. So if you're using those services and you really want to be sure it's safe, Encrypt it. You, zip will work. You can zip it up and use a password. Maybe not the most secure, but certainly enough to kind of prevent casual snoops. If you need something stronger, there are commercial encryption programs that you can encrypt it. Then upload it to the service. And then instead of sending a file or an attachment, you send your friend a link. Now, I have also said... Links are not safe either. I always tell people be very careful about clicking links in email, in uh, messages, in text messages. This, that could be very dangerous. This is another very popular way of spreading viruses. But if he's expecting an email from you, it comes and you say, I'm going to attach it to Dropbox. It's going to come this afternoon. Chances are pretty good no hacker knows that information. So that's going to be a safe attachment. Especially if you encrypt it and you say, and here's the password. Now you know it's safe. So that's the best way to do that. It'll protect you, your friend, and the internet as a whole from any, you know, from malware. And it'll make sure that it's secure so that nobody can see it along the way. 
actually Google Drive uh, is 15 gigs, but you share it with your Gmail. That's nice. Apple's five gigs. That's who it is. Apple's iCloud is five gigs. So almost everybody has some access to some uh, cloud storage that you could put a, an attachment on. Do it that way. And I do like the idea of encrypting it and sending the password along with it in a separate email because that really means it's safe. Very dangerous to send email attachments. I can give you example after example. There's the only, the only, almost always the so. Remember the Sony Pictures Entertainment? They got hacked via email attachments. Uh, most ransomware email attachments. But there was one case. Was it Target? Might have been Target. I think it was. Remember there was a big breach a year or two ago at Target. All their customer accounts and their credit card numbers and everything escaped. That wasn't through an email. That was because Target had a HVAC contractor, people who did the heating and air conditioning in the Target offices. And as often is the case, they gave those guys access to the network so that I, I guess so they could bill them. I don't know. There was there was exchange of files. And they the HVAC contractor got hacked, probably with an email. And then that hack was used to get into Target. Oh, mm -hmm. Just, you know, we just be smart. I'm glad you're asking the right question, which is, you know, how do I send email attachments securely? But this, the first step is don't don't send an attachment. Put it put it on a on a service that's safe, and then you can send that.